Okay, this is Talis Morris, HNC Research Project. Talis is going to be talking a little bit about her influences and some of the specific techniques that she's used um, from people that have influenced her. So Talis, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you've researched and what you've got to present to us? Yeah. Um, well, my main two influences when I was growing up were my parents, um, se completely separately. My mum's a singer, really. I kind of got a lot of my singing ability from her and developed my technique from a singer from her. My dad's also a singer, but he's also a songwriter, so for my songwriting, I, I grew up from a very young age with him writing songs around me, teaching me the way he did it. He always used to say that he was teaching me things that it took him 20 years to work out and that I should tell people what they were. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of my... Well, I, I would say when it's pretty much all my influences come from that. So what I've done is I've um, interviewed my dad about more about his influences and the things that he's listened to and the things that have sort of moulded his songwriting um, because I feel that's probably very relevant to how my songwriting is now as I just grew up with him singing okay, cool. at me. Um, cool. What's the first example that you've got to play as or um, to discuss? Oh. Well... When I was, let me just find the file. Um, as when I was probably about eleven or twelve, my dad wrote um, this song called Prime Time, which uh, I think for the first time made me very aware. He was he's he's not pessimistic, but he was quite realistic, and he was very aware of what was going on and wasn't happy with the way the world was. So I became quite aware of it from a younger age sort of the political um, temperature of the, of the time. And he wrote this song called Prime Time, which is basically about the, n the news. Because at that time, he was just to watch the Six O'Clock News, as my mum did, as everybody I knew did. Um, and he wrote this song about the news, which was basically... Um, Sick of this war, I don't want it no more. Someone fetch my remote control. I'll switch around, swap that grieving sound for something more suitable. And there's an old man standing in a field. Standing amongst friends He sees them exactly as they were Cause this show never ends And they're looking down on you Cause they know how it feels They're saying please do something Cause this is real Just cause prime time all the time it doesn't make it right yeah um so yeah i i remember him writing that uh it was basically his i think he was just really disheartened with the fact that every time he put the news on you kind of get conditioned to the fact that it's bad news but no one ever seems to be doing anything about it um so from quite a young age i became really aware of those sort of issues and actually, I've never, ever watched the news because of that. It's never really something I've done. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to um, show some of the primary research you've done with your dad? Yeah, I sent over some questions for my dad to answer. So I interviewed him, basically, um, just about the things that he listened to when he was growing up and the things that influenced his songwriting either political or not. Um, I asked him, let me just see which questions I've got here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I asked him, the very first thing I asked him really was what his first the first influences that were for him, and actually the very first influences were um, his mum's um, records. So she used to, she just had some sort of old fifties no. records um, that 
he, the only example he's actually given was Elvis Presley, um, Blue Suede Shoes. So he kind of grew up when he was very young, so under the age of 10, listening to those kind of things. And then as he got into his teenagers, he was in sort of 80s pop, but he said that he was a lot more interested in the um, the ballad type songs because they had more of an emotion and more of a political feel behind them and they they seemed to mean a lot more. He just didn't like the the more sort of stereotypical 80s pop, I think. Do you want to maybe read as an example of a question that you asked and an answer that you gave? Yeah, I said, um, when you're growing up, what was the type of music you were listening to and some key bands in that genre? This can be as wide or as narrow as you like. It could be several genres, each with only one band or one genre with ten. Um, and you said, 80s pop mainly, Duran Duran, uh, Frankie Goes Hollywood, Hollywood, Blow Monkeys. Looking back, I like the ballads more than the faster stuff, I think. When I think of these ballads, for example, the songs that jump out at me are Across the Barricade, um, the Powers of Love and Beautiful Child, the faster stuff was all just pat, but the ballads had more emotion in them, and that's what interested me the most. So emotion. Emotion. And would you say that that's uh, something that you've taken into your songwriting? Yeah, I think look, doing this, going back through my influences thing has made it really clear that um, I did take that, the ability to sort of take an emotion that I feel at the time and transfer it into something into a song, which is what he took, I think, from those bands when sort of that that was the thing he sort of grew up with. Okay. Um, um, is there any questions around techniques or something similar? I did send other ones over, but I'm not sure these are. No. M not what's exactly. what's another question that you've asked him that st st sticks out? as um, being something that interested you. Sorry, I've had to highlight it because I found out how to read it. Well, actually, when I asked him what his key influence was for the whole time, like when he was growing up, he actually didn't say anything to do with music. Um, he actually said Arthur Miller, the playwright, was his biggest influence. He said that... Um, he said he saw him as a real artist, his plays inspired me and ultimately I don't think inspiration for music needs to come from other musicians. He says his plays were great and had integrity. Um. So that's something that you've said before that you're not necessarily inspired by other musicians and you find it difficult to talk about that so is that something that you've done, you've taken inspiration from far and wide, further afield than just music? Yeah I don't, I think I don't really take inspiration from music. I think I definitely, list, especially when I was younger, I would listen to music and I'd take aspects of that and put it into the songs I wrote, but I wouldn't necessarily like take their message or anything like that. I kind of seem to find that myself. Um, so maybe lyrically then, if you took ideas yeah, from Arthur Mirror, then was there, is there an example that maybe you've got of taking lyrical ideas from another source? Um, when I was, as in something that's influenced me. Yeah, well, I mean, for instance, like a play, like an Arthur Miller play or something similar. Um, I'm trying to think on the spot. I can't. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Let's d discuss another bit of the primary research that you've been doing. Pick something else out that interested you or you found um, illuminating. Um, 